High Five, A Suburban Adoption Saga is by director Julia Ivanova, where she follows a Canadian couple, Kathy and Martin Ward, as they work to adopt five children, five siblings, all from the Ukraine. The film is a fascinating study of family life, of intercultural relations, of sibling rivalries. It's dramatic, it's emotionally compelling. It's a great look at what it means to be a, a family in the 21st century. Big Men takes place in Ghana after the very first commercial oil field is discovered in 2006. Of course, oil is always in the news. It's amazingly open as far as access. I don't know how Rachel got into those rooms, but the conversation is searing, uh, eye-opening, and you'll be left basically aghast with how these major decisions are made. Blood Relative is the second feature documentary by Namisha Mukherjee. This is another moving documentary that follows an activist in India who advocates for children with thalassemia major, a genetic blood disorder, but are unable to afford treatment. The film portrays one man's efforts to increase education and access within an indifferent system and with some tragic results. But it also demonstrates the powerful effect of his compassion and dedication to these children and their families. If you see one film at this year's Hot Docs, I highly recommend you go and see Elena. It is the most beautiful film I've seen all year. It is a true piece of cinema. Petra Costa has captured the most elusive thing that you can capture on film, which is the essence of a human being that she loved so much. Let the Fire Burn is an American film about the black liberation group MOVE that existed in Philadelphia from 1972 to 1985. Since their formation in 1972, MOVE was in constant conflict with the Philadelphia police. This film looks at the events entirely through archival material, constructing the history around the conflict, uh, interviewing the only two surviving members of MOVE, and looks at a public inquiry that was previously never released to the public. And I think it's really important that people see this because it's a piece of American history that not a lot of people know about. I think everyone would want to see When I Walk because it's an insider view by the filmmaker. He was traveling the world, he was making his own documentary, and all of a sudden he was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Anyone who comes will walk away a much, much richer person with not only a better understanding of people with different abilities, but a better understanding of the whole humanity of someone who's facing such a challenge. Junior is a f fantastic film, one of my favorites. It uh, tells the story of John Pierre Boynes uh, Jr., a 23-year-old uh, boxer. He is the eldest of uh, seven uh, siblings, four of whom are uh, autistic. Basically, Junior, at uh, literally such a young age, uh, has to keep on winning in order to guarantee a better future for his whole family and his uh, uh, siblings. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful film. I would uh, highly recommend it. Mm -hmm.